Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and today in the PCT Test Lab, I am going to be comparing four different brands of translucent polymer clay. Now the four brands that we're going to be uh, comparing today are uh, Sculpey 3 Translucent, Primo White Translucent, Fimo Transparent White, and Kato Polyclay Translucent. So what I've done is I have taken each of these brands of clay and rolled them out at two different thicknesses. The first, um, I did it at, thin, at a thin setting. So all of these ones across the top are rolled out to one playing card thickness on my pasta machine. And then the other samples that I made were rolled out at six playing cards thick. And I wrote on each of the samples, I bake them each for an hour at the temperature that it says on the package to be baked at. I made sure to use an oven thermometer so that I had a um, controlled environment. And then I used my timer to make sure that I was baking them for the same amount of time. Now, you can see here that the samples, I'll move them a little closer together. There's quite a difference in how the different samples look. The Sculpey 3, for example, here is quite a bit more yellow than the Primo White Translucent. The whitest of them all was the Fimo Transparent White. And then the Cato Polyclay, I was actually surprised that it was as yellow as it was. Um, to be fair, it's possible that the Cato Polyclay doesn't respond as well to the longer baking time of one hour. I haven't done enough working with the Cato clay to know what the prime um, amount of time is. But I like to bake the, all of my brands of clay with a full hour so that it shows some extra strength. And I've done a video on that before as well. Now, the as far as the transparency goes, they each have different levels of transparency. I'm going to just hold them up to the light here and show how the, I'm going to use the thicker pieces and to show the translucency of them. The Sculpey 3 has quite a bit of um, kind of flakes and things in it. The Primo White Translucent is much clearer and more consistent. The Fimo is whiter looking, but it's um, actually not quite as clear as the Primo White Translucent. And then the Cato is quite consistent and quite clear, but it's on the yellowish side. The Now let's see what else about them. The strength differences. I found quite a bit of strength difference. The Sculpey 3 breaks really easy. In fact, this is my least favorite clay. You've heard me rant about that before. Sculpey 3 just isn't very um, strong. The Primo baked at this thin setting is quite strong. I probably won't even be able to break it. Eh, try hard here, but I'm not getting it to break. Good. It's my favorite one. The Fimo, it is... Can I break it? I might be able to break it, but it's more work. It's still quite strong. Oh, and there we go. I was able to break it. And then the Cato clay, let's see what I can do here. Oh, it did break. Now I'm still not positive on the prime strength for, because Cato is supposed to be really, really strong. So maybe the one hour baking isn't ideal. So, but at that level, that's what we're at. Now, as far as the way the clays feel, <laughs> it broke really easy. The thicker setting broke really easily. The Primo white translucent is quite flexible. The Fimo, this is a little smaller piece, but it is stiffer. It's quite a bit harder than the Primo. And then the thicker version of the Cato is really hard. I can barely bend it. So for a, a pendant and that kind of thing, it's going to be very, very strong. So those are the main differences I find be, I found between these particular brands of polymer clay. 
Um, I think you'll find this test quite interesting. Oh, and I missed the uh, one more part. As far as being able to read through the clay, I'm just going to use this um, uh, card here. You can see that it's not, it's a little bit on the milky side here with the Sculpey 3. With the Primo White, it's almost completely see-through. With the Fimo Translucent, it's pretty close to the Fimo or to the Primo, but it's just a little bit more milky. And then the Kato, it's it is a little bit, it's not near as translucent. So that is my comparison test between Pre or Sculpey 3, Primo, Fimo, and Cato Clay. I hope you found this very helpful. If you did, make sure to give us, um, to press that like button and uh, share this video if you like with uh, wherever you want. And also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that um, you don't miss any other testing type videos. If you have any questions or if you have a product that you would like us to test, make sure to leave your comment below. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Bye for now.